Good afternoon, everyone. It is noon o'clock. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a few minutes late this afternoon. It's been a busy day on uh, technology ends of YouTube these days. I have had some issues with some updates on my computer, my software company, and I think YouTube is actually having difficulty. They notif There's a notification in my studio that they are having trouble with real-time data, which means some of you may not be getting notifications for new live streams. So bear with me, I always update my social media. You can always check out, check out Facebook and Twitter. Um, my Twitter is W-O-A-C-B official, um, and then Facebook is facebook.com slash without a crystal ball. I, it's hard on Instagram, they don't allow me to use links, but you can always send me a message on Instagram if you have questions, concerns, or wanna know when I'm gonna be going live. So. We are going to talk about, we haven't done an update in a minute about Jen Harley and Ra Ronnie Magro. If you follow this channel, you know that we talk about Jersey Shore. We also talk about, uh, we cover a lot of topics related to domestic violence. And in this case, we know that Ronnie Magro and Jen Harley were involved in a very uh, back and forth violent relationship for on and off for a couple of years. They have a daughter together that's just not even two years old. And he was arrested in October, on October 4th, at, he was taken into cu custody um, by the Los Angeles Police Department at 3 a.m. on October 4th. At the time, police said the suspect and victim were involved in some type of physical altercation. When officers arrived, they had to deploy their tasers on, on the suspect and minor use of force occurred. There was a child at the location and that child was unharmed. And that was what an LAPD spokesperson told USA Today Network back in October. According to the um, everything that was going around at that time, Ronnie allegedly chased Jen with a knife and grabbed their daughter from her. He then locked himself in the Airbnb they were renting while they were in Los Angeles to celebrate the launch of a new CBD line of products he was offering. And when officers arrived, Ronnie would not comply with the, uh, the orders of the officers. They had to tase him. He was then taken to the hospital and then booked on the initial charges of kidnapping. After he was booked, they put to a no contact order, which was later rescinded and then added back again. Um, but he was in court in, October, in November, about a month later, and he was charged with seven misdemeanors, for including domestic violence, child endangerment, brandishing a weapon, criminal threats, false imprisonment of Jen, and two counts of resisting arrest. He pleaded not guilty at the pretrial hearing on, I believe it was November 8th, to all the charges, and he has denied any wrongdoing related to the incident. Now, since this has gone down, he and Jen have split. Um, this has been the longest split they've had, I can, I think, in the entire time I've been following this couple. And he is currently has a no contact order enforced by the Los Angeles uh, County prosecutors. They put that in place last month at his pretrial hearing. He is not allowed to have contact with his daughter or with Jen. And during this time, and he has been sort of traveling around and kind of whooping it up. He was at, he's actually just been in Miami this weekend. And Jen, during this time, has been being a mom and working, as it seems. She's been taking her daughter to the pumpkin patch, doing different activities with them, celebrating like Thanksgiving, doing all her promotional stuff. But it was over the weekend that she actually shared some photos on Instagram that were a little bit alarming. And I'll, I'll show you here right quick. Oops. So she shared this photo on her Instagram yes, uh, yesterday, which is up from October 10th, 2019, which would have been about six days after the assault. And she wrote black eye lol it's always been you and she wrote october 10th 2019. Um, she then shared a photo of bruises on the side of her body right above to the back towards the top back the top back of her abdomen towards the back towards her back um, my body bruised and beat with the hashtag of december 20th that's when he will be in court for his next hearing and then she shared a screenshot which says f you honestly bunch of bullies i'm so happy it's all about all out of my life and it was in response to Snooki 
sharing um or she shared a photo of Snooki on October 7th, 2019. She shared a photo on her Instagram and she said, FYI, I have screenshots between Ron and TJ when you guys were in Miami and Ron saying, oh my God, I could have effed the shit out of Nicole tonight. Saying you were all over him and you are such a lush and I'm uploading tomorrow and sending. Ask him. And thanks a lot for victimizing me after he beat my ass in front of my daughter. You are a real bully. Honestly, I did nothing to you. So that was Jen sending a message to apparently Snooki in DMs, and she called Snooki a bully for victimizing her after she had been hurt by Ronnie. And then she shared this: "I don't want to hear about Ron, all these girl and all these girls. I now, I know, <clears throat> I now believe me, there will. <laughs> Excuse me. I know, believe me, there has been so many. So please save the screenshots and pictures. I, I am used to it." I know he's hooking up with my friend to get back at me, back at me for not wanting to get back with him. It's a cycle that never ends and I'm exhausted and disgusted by it. Um, she then shared a photo of him in Miami where he is dancing and she said sober or nah. And then she shared this photo which says when your baby dad's strung out and high as fuck right before court in Miami, LMFAO. December, going to make December 20th my bitch, she says. So, obviously, she's ready, preparing for court. She's obviously angry at Ronnie. Ronnie has seemingly been just sort of not phased by anything that's been going on. His cast members have been supportive of him. Jen has not had any support, it appears, from anyone at MTV or any of his castmates. Um, in fact, most of them have said, they are supportive of Ronnie in relation to what happened with Jen. Not surprising as many of them obviously want to, when it comes to their job, make sure that their cast member stays on it because, you know, casts need their cast to be there for the show to continue on. Now, Snooki re recently announced that she will be leaving the show. She actually announced that on Friday with her co-host Joey on her podcast. She said that she has been receiving death threats and she is just not happy with the way that this show has been edited or the narrative or the direction the show is taking. She said things have turned very dark. Um, and Ronnie, for his part, has been posting a lot of different things on, on Instagram. He's talking about his daughter, how much he misses his daughter, to talking about getting rid of toxic people. But this past weekend, he was actually in Miami and here's what we've got there. So he is currently partying away in Miami. Um, photos were shared by a woman named Jess. And then he wrote, when you realize life is so short, but you realize even though you're short, LMAO mean you live life to the fullest, appreciate. And then he shared a photo of uh, one of his friends, which was shared on Instagram of them partying on a boat. As you notice, there's a lot of alcohol there. Then he shared, when people want to leave, allow them. Sometimes people just aren't ready for connection with you. Don't take it to heart because everyone has free will. Let them decide to go and you decide to put value in those who want to stay. He was then, um, another photo shared by his friend Jess of him at a bar with a drink, um, on a boat, again, with his people. And then there was a video on his friend Jess's Instagram of them taking shots and Ronnie, it, it appears that they were taking to drinking tequila and he was taking the shot and putting it on the ground. So they're just taking the shot and putting it on the ground. So Ronnie has been admitted, has admitted quite publicly that he struggles with um, what is perceived to be an addiction to alcohol. There's been a lot of, um, accusations thrown out by Jen that he that she alleges that he uses cocaine and he was in a facility this past spring to deal with his substance abuse issues he spoke openly about his struggle to stay sober and he seemed to be getting a handle of it after he spent about 30 days in rehab however it appears as though he's relapsed at this point because he is out with friends taking shots drinking it up partying it up and he is preparing for court. So um, obviously addiction is um, a, a disease and he's apparently struggling with it. I, I would hope at this point that with a court date coming up and a potential prison sentence looming if he were to be found guilty, 
um, that he would take the time he needs and use the resources necessary to get uh, the help he needs. There were a lot of allegations at the time of the arrest that drugs and alcohol played a factor. The night of his arrest, he was at a party for a launch party for a CBD line. During that night, he was sharing videos of his um, event. He appeared intoxicated. And then there was allegations by people connected to Jen that he had been using drugs that night, cocaine mostly, um, which could explain the need for force. He could have been strung out high on something and didn't comply with officers. Again, all of this is our allegations, but have been stated by people connected to Jen related to that night. So. Obviously, this is an ongoing case and he is in Miami. They're going to be back in court in December on December or uh, in 11 days on December 20th where he will um, another pretrial hearing will happen. No word yet if he was going to take a plea deal because at this point in time he has pled not guilty to the charges. I wouldn't be surprised to be honest if he ends up getting a striking a deal and not having to serve any jail time. It doesn't seem as though the courts really take um, these types of situations seriously, sadly, <laughs> even though he has a history of violent altercations with other women, including his ex-girlfriend, Sammy, and another girlfriend, uh, Malika, who spoke about his um, aggressive love language. And Jen has been stating for a long time that he has been violent. Now, other people who are not supporters of Jen will say that Jen is violent and it was a toxic relationship. Either way, the relationship got, reached its head on October 4th, and it appears both are moving in different directions. So what are your thoughts after seeing the photos? I was actually pretty shocked when I saw the black eye. Um, really sad for her if that's exactly what happened. She had scrapes and bruises all over her body. TMZ actually posted um, photos shortly after his arrest where she had scrapes on her shoulder and on her, on her thigh. And it looked like she had been dragged along. It looked like road rash, like she had been dragged along concrete. And now having seen the photos of her with the um, the bruise in her eye, it appears this, this evening was a lot more violent than I think we even realized. So let me know what your thoughts are. Um, do you think he's guilty? Do you think he's not guilty? Do you think it's appropriate that she's sharing these things? Um, do you think that his response of going out and partying and being with friends is a appropriate and responsible choice considering that he is on social media talking about how he wants to get his daughter back? Or do you think he's just in denial in, in the midst of an addiction? I would love to know your thoughts below and I will be back later with more. Bye guys.